Nigel. Hey, how's it going? Not too bad, not too bad. You have this game here, tap shoot. Yeah. Right, or tap shot, should I say. Yeah. Well, that was a pretty, pretty bad mistake, but <laughs> it looked like two zeros anyway. Yeah. All right. So what led to the inception of this game? Like, what, what made you create a Western game to shoot? Uh, well, I started developing it about uh, two and a half sort of years ago. On August August uh, 2011, I started. Right. Uh, just as a bit of a pet project to start learning some more stuff in Flash. It's, it's all made in um, Adobe Flash. Right. Uh, so, start off as just a project to start um, trying to get into more Flash stuff and make more Flash games. Okay. And um, sort of liked it and went with it and been just sort of slow progression um, over the last couple of years of um, getting it done and just finding time to work on it after work and when I get spare time. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's good. Like, I played it earlier on in the day. Yep. I think this is one of the first movies that we actually came to. Oh, cool. uh, unfortunately you weren't here then. That's why, <laughs> that's why we did interview, interview now at about 20 past 2. But um, no, I, I found it to be, it's, it's one of those quick, quick play games, obviously no pun intended, but like, it's, uh, like it's, if I'm waiting in line or something I can just play it and that's it, you know. It's, yeah, it's, I want it to be that really accessible kind of jump in and play for five minutes. Yeah. Um, so we've got the leaderboard so people can compete and I found that's when it's been a big hit, especially here at EV Expo. Uh, people can play against their friends and people have been coming back, which is great. Um, which is always, it's always great to see people come back and, and want to keep playing your game and want to play it over and over again to beat their mates. And well, that's it. I think that's that's the object of having a game is yeah. to, to beat be number one. Yeah. That's brilliant. And so the different formats, we played on an iPhone here. Is that an iPhone 4? Uh, yeah, it's running on a 4S at the moment. Okay. Um, the base build, the game's actually built for Android. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, so that's what I'm, I'm main, mainly developing it for. Right. And uh, we happen to have a whole lot of iPhones here, so we had a test and... Um, Played on those. Would it ever come on PC at all? Like, as a flash uh, game? I mean, I played on PC all the time developing it, and I think it's going to have a bit of a rework. Having a PC, a bit slow with having to go over and click reload and then come back. So, uh, it's something I'd look at in the future, possibly for the um, Windows 8 store right. and uh, for Windows Phone 8 as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, something I'd look at for PC in the future. And, and the leveling up, like, would you have multiple targets, or, or is it just sort of, sort of one standard level? You just keep on getting more, more targets coming up. And so how the progression of it's going to happen is, there's um, in the final game, there's going to be um, cinematics between the levels. Oh. So you start off in the middle of cinematic of you coming to the town. You're right. going to be like a bounty hunter coming to this town to collect the bounty on one of the bandits' heads, basically. So, so it's also storyline driven. Yeah, it's going to have a bit of a storyline as well. It's I like going to be that. an arcade with a bit of a story just to push things along a little bit, so you're not just playing random. Random levels. I like story of so it, it, it gives them a bit more of a purpose. Obviously, playing it is the purpose anyway, but having a storyline actually helps it out as well. It does, yeah. It's, it's going to be completely optional as well, so you can sort of opt out the story and just play the levels if you want and not have to, have to worry about any of that if you don't want to. Um, so, if you're going to start off, you come to town trying to get a bounty on this guy's head, uh, and basically all their goons are going to stop in the first level there. It's got the final game of plan for five levels. Uh, so, the, at launch, it's going to have five levels. Uh, and with a view to make more uh, more free levels in the future. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, depending on what the reception is like, yeah. So, so there's no microtransactions at all? Uh, I didn't want to go down the microtransaction route with it. Um, I'm not a fan of them myself, <laughs> making people pay. I mean, the, the grand scheme for, the, for release will be... Uh, it'll come as a paid product, depending, and price will depend on what kind of quality level I hit with it at this stage. It's going to come out as a paid product. And then um, a few months down the track, once I got uh, another set of five levels out, right. uh, the main product will go as a free version okay. with the first five levels, and then you can go up to the paid version and you get the extra levels as well. So there's always something new happening then, and it's always to keep the player in, engrossed and involved as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, and that's one of our big challenges as well with it, is so how are we going to keep people bringing people back to the game once they finish playing? Because we know it's, it's not a game with a lot of depth, it's going to be that quick jump in, five minutes, have a play and um, you know, go back to what you're doing. So the game actually features a Facebook logon okay. um, and it will do a Twitter logon as well. Uh, so you can log in and um, so if your mate overtakes your high score for instance on the first level or can't give you a little notification saying hey your mate overtook you, go beat, go beat his high score. That's so we're going to try and get people back in that way. That's good, that's good. And plus like the western sort of uh, concept, that's always going to be stickers. It's always going to stick around. Yeah. Like, you know, it's, it's, it's big back in its heyday in the 60s and 70s. Yeah. Where then we've had Aliens and Cowboys, 
people had um, Lone Ranger, yeah. Rango to a certain degree. Yeah. But uh, no, but I think just the, I think the Western will always will always work. Yeah, I've heard a lot of great feedback about um, about the look of it and the style of it. Yeah. A couple of people have said, "Oh, how come you didn't make it an Australian?" Um, an Australian theme one, like a Ned Kelly theme, and honestly, because I just didn't think of it. <laughs> Version 2. Oh, Version yeah. 2, That's the exactly. sequel. There you go. <laughs> Adventures in Australia. Tap shop goes to Australia. That's yeah. It. That's it. Anyway, Nathan, thank you very much. That's right, thank you so uh, much. Sorry, Nigel. Sorry. That's right. I'm really bad at this. This, this is 20 past 2, uh, I'm really afraid. But anyway, right. you take care, and I hope this you know, gets bigger and better. Yeah, so we're currently looking at uh, launching uh, early next year. Fantastic. Yeah. That's really for good. Android and iOS. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank cool. you. Thanks, Sam.